Hey guys, this is Murtaza from Networkers Home. Welcome back again to another video of WSA. In this video, we'll be seeing HTTPS proxy. So first of all, let me tell you about the two different engines on WSA. First is web proxy, which handles traffic of HTTP on the standard port 80, or you can also customize any port uh, for the HTTP traffic. Another engine is HTTPS proxy, which handles only HTTPS traffic on the standard port 443, or any other HTTP custom ports uh, that should be mentioned in the HTTPS proxy engine of WSA. So as we all know, the traffic uh, of HTTPS is encrypted. So to check the content of HTTPS traffic, we need a certificate file, which will recrypt the packet to check the content on WSA. For HTTP traffic, we don't need a certificate because uh, it's in clear text, but for HTTPS traffic, to check the content on WSA, we need a certificate. Also, what we'll do when we'll generate this certificate on our HTTPS proxy engine, we'll generate a certificate and we'll download it and then we'll be giving this certificate to our employees and we'll ask them to install in their browsers and start browsing. So let's not discuss more theory. Let's jump into the configurations. This is the same lab I've been using from the first day. All the IP addresses are configured according to the topology. Also, I've configured a transparent redirection. My employee PC's traffic and my admin PC's web traffic is getting redirected from ASA's inside interface to WSA, and WSA is going out on the internet on behalf of these two PCs over here, and my PCs aren't aware of this redirection or any proxy in between. Because the, when the reply comes, it comes in a manner such a way that we, uh, they'll, they'll see the source IP as the IP address of the web server itself. They'll not be seeing any IP address of WSA. So this is my admin PC. I've taken a remote uh, RDB session of my A admin PC. I've taken a GUI of WSA. What I'll be doing, I'll navigate to security services, HTTPS proxy. By default, it's off. You can see the HTTPS proxy is currently disabled. I'll enable and edit settings. HTTPS ports to proxy. The default is 443. You can also mention any custom port like uh, 7443 or whatever your custom is. But for now, I'll go with 443 only. I'll select use generated certificate and key. Generate new certificate and key. Let's keep it as embed. Organization is training India. Um, the duration of expiration, let's keep it uh, three years. Let's name it as NH. I'll say generate. Let's see, I have to wait. Now click here on download, save. I'll go on view downloads. Okay, I'll go here. I'll go on downloads. You can see I've downloaded the file, but I have make sure you change the extension of this file. For now, it is .pem. I'll name it as nh.crt. It will turn uh, this into a certificate. You can see, you can see the logo. I'll cut it and paste it out on desktop. You can see it here. So that it will be easier for me to install it. This is my old one. Let me delete this one. Here, you can see nh.crt. And now I'll go with the default ones. I'll select submit. 
Let's say continue. And commit the changes. Also, if you check here, I'll go back. I forgot to some mention something. Here you can see uh, invalid certificate options. For expired certificate, what do you want to do? You want to drop it, you want to decrypt, you want to monitor. For mismatched host name, unrecognized root authority issuer, invalid signing certificate, for all these options, you can choose draw, either drop, decrypt or monitor for now i have kept everything on monitor and i have in this one os ocsp resulting handling i'm i'm going with the default i've committed my changes then i'll navigate to web security manager down here you can see decryption policies these are for https proxy you can see i have a global policy i'll add my own policy for admin PC and my employee PC, I'll say AD policy, AD, let's name it as HTTPS policy. I'll select my identification that is employee PC and I'll say submit. I'll add another policy by the name of employee HTTPS pro policy. EM HTTPS policy. I'll select my identity that is employee PC, you can see, and I'll say submit. After that, I'll commit my changes. Now, I'll go to URL filtering and um, URL filtering, I'll click on the monitor. I've selected a custom uh, URL category. I want my Amazon, uh, I want to reach this uh, website. So I'll say decrypt and the rest of the shopping websites I want to block. So I'll say drop all and I'll click submit. And in the AD, that is admin, HTTPS policy, I'll say Facebook decrypt and rest should be blocked. I'll click on submit. And then I'll be committing my changes. I'll say commit, commit changes. Now I'll navigate to web security manager and again on access policies. It's a top to down policy check. First of all, decryption policies will be checked. Whatever is uh, decryption, but I have, whatever I have kept on decryption, it will then go down and check the access policies. Make sure you have allowed your employee PCs traffic that you have kept on decrypt or in decryption policy. I'll navigate here. Amazon, I have allowed and the rest I have blocked. Done. And now I'll navigate to my, another policy that is admin policy. For admin policy, I'll say, I want to allow Facebook and rest I want to block from the social networking. So I have kept it on allow and social networking is blocked. I am done from here. So, this is my certificate. What I'll be doing, I'll go on my Internet Explorer. I'll navigate to settings, navigate down to Internet options, navigate to content and click on certificates here. I'll click on trusted root certifications authority, import, next. I'll browse my certificate that is nh.crt, open it, next. Place all certificates in the following and I'll say finish. Wait for a second, it will prompt me that the certificate certificate has been installed successfully. Yeah. 
you can see the import was successful. I can check it here. Here, NH, if you want to view, this is expiry is 2017. Okay. And I'll be navigating here and I'll say HTTPS. www.facebook.com I've allowed Facebook for this and rest from the social networking sites I've blocked. Let's do it again. HTTPS www.facebook.com Till it prompts anything, what will we do? We'll take a search of WSA to check whether it's able to resolve the host name. 50, enter as admin. It takes a while. I'll say NS lookup www.facebook.com. One, you can see it's able to resolve. The IP address is 1.1.1.1. There's no issue in the DNS. Oh, I got the page. It will prompt me for the username and the password. So as you can see, it's prompting me for the username and the password that is admin and admin. You can check the IP address. You can see the IP address of the WSA, the translated IP address. So the traffic is going via WSA. Let's check uh, for other, for other, uh, shopping, sorry, social networking sites. HTTPS colon double slash www dot Instagram dot com. I should not be able to uh, get an access of Instagram because I have blocked that. I'll continue to this website. You can see based on your organization's access policies, access to this website that is HTTPS called double slash www.instagram.com has been blocked because of the web category social networking is not allowed. So let's try it on employ PC. I'll go here. You go on the employee PC. This is my employee PC. I'll open Explorer. I'll take a GUI access of WSA and from there I'll download the certificate and install it in my browser. I'll navigate to Web Security Manager and I'll navigate to Decryption 
Ticket permission? No, no, no. I'll navigate to security services and to HTTPS proxy. Let me maximize it so that it can be visible to you people as well. Yeah, better. I'll navigate down to edit settings. I'll download the certificate. I'll save it. The download is not completed yet. I'll open the folder. I'll change the extension. I'll name it as nh.crt. And I'll cut it to desktop. Now what I'll do, let me maximize it a bit. Yeah. I'll go to settings, intent option, content, certificates, trusted dude certificates, import, browse. This is the new one, nh.certificate. Click next, click next, and finish. Wait for it to prompt. The certificate is successfully installed or imported. That will appear in a second. Yeah. Click yes. The import was successful. I close it, cancel, and then I'll close this. These are the caches created by my explorer. HTTPS. www. Uh, Amazon dot com amazon is allowed and the rest of the shopping websites are blocked i'll click to on this continue to website. Yeah, it should be prompting me with the username and the password. There is admin and admin I'll say okay. And now I'll click on this. You can check the IP address of the WSA. And if I'll try to access Flipkart. There is also a shopping website. I should not be able to get an access because I've blocked that on my ASA, uh, WSA. You can see based on your organization, same, it's not allowed because it, it comes under the web category that is shopping and it's blocked. So I hope you understood the configuration of HTTPS. Uh, I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next one.